Good afternoon, evening, everyone. It's a Friday night. Of course, you're waiting upon the latest from the Hurricane Center. I'll have an update on that coming up here after around 7 o'clock this evening. Of course, you get it all live on Channel 4, so do tune in. Of course, you can also watch Channel 4 live on your phone. You just download the, the News for Jack's app and click on when we say live here. So click on that. Watch me as we talk about all this mess here. This is, again, Isaias as he continues to roll through parts of the Turks Caicos now. Kind of pushing right along, nothing unusual here, not developing much, but the track from earlier, this is the 11 a.m. track. You can see that track just nudged off the coast here, but I suspect they had to nudge it a little bit closer to the coast here coming up at five. Here's the impact, and oh, by the way, if you're running how the beach is going, it's beautiful out there, and southeasterly winds are cooling things down. The rest of us are brutally hot. That heat will be back again here tomorrow. Daytime temperature, 94, 95 degrees for your Saturday. But then those winds pick up out of the northeast on Sunday. Our temperatures drop. The clouds roll in. Isa is down to the south. We're under a tropical storm warning on Sunday. Heavy rains along the beaches, mainly in Flagler, St. John's counties. But Clay, Putnam also pick up some pretty good rains as well. And those winds in the around the beaches will be up around 25, 35, maybe a few gusts of 40. And then the storm rolls out of here. By, by Monday, we're going to be hot. Daytime temperatures reach right back in the upper 90s. And then we see thunderstorms return all the way through next week.